Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a great rack. I've got the blank and the rest of the rack looks pretty bingo-y. I would have an eared with the blank as an A. And bingos which duplicate a tile on my rack are preferable because they provide fewer floaters for opponent. Now, Anir does play in column 10 because Kaf takes an E. Do I have anything better? Well, yes, because I have precisely that play in... Well, I don't because that will be only a 7. Let me put this back. Do I have an 8? This rack plus an A... So that would be two A's and two E's. How much time to spend looking, given that I've got a guaranteed bingo in column 10. I'm going to have a quick squiz. So this rack plus an A. Well, that looks promising. Triple E less so. And the, the move could end with an A as well as beginning with it. That would be a 5 vowel 8. That's learned as a 7. I feel there is one, it's just a matter of how much time to spend looking. And I don't want opponent to disappear. So serenade with a triple E. Okay, well, I may, may be missing something, but I'm going to get Anirda down. 470. And a far less bingo-y rack. But I can get rid of six tiles with McVeigh. And that plays in row I because of CH. It also plays in column 11. And that would leave just a B. So not a great rack leave. But this rack is pretty chocker in terms of heavy tiles. So I'm quite fortunate in being able to get rid of four of them. Now, are there any other spots for McVeigh I haven't considered? No, I don't think so. A near that takes nothing in front. Okay, a quite handy double-double lane, especially with the E. One square short of the double word square. But at this instance, I have a good lead. Opponent's a good player. I've played him before. Rating of over 1,800, so this should be a good game. Great, just eight points for opponent. Probably nursing a, a good rack leave, given that he's only played off two tiles. Now, there is another spot for McVeigh, which opponent has just blocked, which would have been row K, taking out the double-double danger. But opponent has done that to some extent by placing a U under that second double word square. So, do I play McVeigh here? for 34, or do I play it in column 11? And I think this is mainly going to come down to score 41. Yep, I am going to play it here. Well, not a great pickup, but I was drawing six random tiles. And M and B do have some synergy. Through an N, I would have numbat. So how to sort this rack out? Batu is good and Abatu. But I'm not seeing anywhere great for them. The V of McVeigh and the C of Cafe are really hampering parallel plays. Duo only takes an S. Now my M can go between the E and the U. So I could have EMB but I'm not seeing a word. And I'm not seeing anything in row A through this M. 
If opponent bingos, it's likely to be elsewhere on the board, so the M would probably remain available. But I'm not I'm just not seeing anything good through it. I have matter two on my rack as a six. And that does play in column 12, but the score will be fairly poor. Just looking in column 9 to see if I have anything which hooks AH. Wow, 72 points for opponent. And my Abatu play doesn't play in row A. But Matatu does. T doesn't look particularly promising. Matatu doesn't either because it ends in U. So what about Batter? I think that's good. 36 points. UM not the worst rack leave in the world. I am going with this. Well, pretty good. I'm just wondering if Moody Jars is good, and I don't think it is. In any event, there isn't a floating A in the right spot. But this rack looking a little more balanced, and I feel that for the first time I may be able to leave a decent rack leave. I lead by 50. So, ideally, I'd play off J, U, and M. Is there a way to do that on this board? And there may not be. 30 points for opponent, solid scoring. So, I have Juma through the A, but for a very low score. Where can I score with the J? What do I have through this E? So it's just the M which goes above the U. Not seeing anything. I have Juve. 28 points. Leaving, well, four consonants. So vulnerable to drawing two consonants. But if I draw two vowels, I'll have quite a good rack. And there are floating vowels on the board with the A of Cafe, O of Duo, E of Aeneid. But can I do better than Juve? Let me put this back. Is there anywhere to play off j just Ju? Or maybe play Judd? So what about Judd down here? 18 points, sacrificing 10 points, but keeping a much better rack leave. Yeah, just on score and rack leave, these plays must be close. And I'm not seeing any, anything great. So I am going with Judd. And, well, what do I have? D merges through an E, but I don't think the E of a neared is available given the duo play. D germs is good. That plays in column 13, making duos and remains available. However, opponent has bingo to take a 30 point lead. So do I have anything through B and R? No. What about A and I? Not that I can see. The trouble with D germs is that nothing gets doubled. Have I considered all the E's on the board for demerges? Yeah, I think I have. And what about the A of cafe? What what is the bingo with this rack plus an A? Well, not seeing it. And what about just the R? 
No. UT unpromising. YA likewise. So D germs for 68. Wow, I draw the second blank and some S's. This looks a great rack. I have bestows if there is a spot for it. Pretty impressive or fortunate for a seven random tiles. Only lacking in vowels. So what about the A of carenal? I have saw as a component part of a word. Now opponents played and not created a lane. So maybe I won't be able to bingo. Is it really the case that there's nowhere for bestows? I think so. And I trail by 11. But I had I do have a nice rack. So coming back to this A. Nothing with saw that I've seen. Let me just consider the blank as a vowel. That's bestows. Probably nothing else available. So how to sort the rack out? Well, playing off B and W would be quite handy. Is there a way to do that and score? Well, what I can do is play cows here for 46 points, which is pretty handy and the rack leave is good and I'm giving nothing to opponent. So I am going with this. And again, vowel, vowel light, which reduces the number of options available. It increases the necessity for the blank to be a vowel rather than any of the 26 tiles. But I now have an H for hooking the C of cafe. So again, let me consider the blank as a vowel. Nothing with the A. Nothing as an E. Hen bits. Oh, wow, but I don't think that plays. But it may if the opponent creates a lane. So let me bear that in mind. So the blank as an O, and I'm looking for sevens primarily, not seeing anything there. And nothing there. So hen bits, if a lane becomes available. And the alternative to that would be a bingo through C or A. Let me consider the A first. Well, nothing is leaping to mind. Abthanes is good. So I do have a bingo beginning with that A. Will that remain available? The A of cafe not available. But there are two C's on the board. So what about this rack plus a C? So again, the vowels, the blank is going to be a vowel. So I'm imagining this rack plus a C. Not seeing anything there. This rack plus a C, nothing. So Ben Thick doesn't take an S. And Bitchens I don't think is good. So moving on to O. No, not seeing anything there. And nothing there. Let me consider why. No, so at the moment it's Abthanes or nothing. So what if Abthanes is blocked? 
Well, I suppose I'm back to getting rid of both of my high-scoring tiles if I can. I could do that with BAH, but I think the score is too small. Especially when I could get the H doubled, so I could play Beth and CH. And Abthanes remains available. Fantastic. Has opponent provided a spot for hen bits? No. What about a big no beginning with P? I don't think so. So Abthanes for 63. And a pretty grim pickup. Still 20 tiles to come. And I say grim because the Q doesn't look an easy tile to get rid of. Only one U to come, but four eyes. Opponent plays quite quickly. Ah, uh, look at that. Opponent provides almost a Q spot. Chi is good, but I don't have any plays beginning QA, despite having N and G, which go above the O. So are there any stray I's or U's around? No, I don't think there are. So I think I want to turn over tiles to increase my chances of drawing a U or an I. I lead by 60, which is fairly slender, but remaining tiles not particularly bingo-y. However, opponent could catch me with non-bingos, since there's still the Z to come. None of these tiles go well with the Q, so how can I get rid of them and score something half-decent? Just looking at this JV spot, Juve would score quite a lot. Still five E's to come. What about playing through the G? Well, that's not going to score very much. What about through the H? Wow, these tiles don't go well with anything. So, only one S to come. What about playing Enog? 20 points. Not massively dangerous. I'm leaving alone this Q spot. Now, I had ends for Chin. Well, there just was nowhere for that. I don't think column one is particularly dangerous because nothing big can go on this double letter square to the left of the N. I guess what opponent could do is a ZA play. But I'm really struggling to find anywhere to play and I, I do need to offload tiles. So I am going with this. And I draw an I, which is good. So do I have anywhere for chi or cheese? Well, I do, column 14. But that is going to open up column 15, so nice to find somewhere a bit, a bit better. But is there somewhere? Well, not that I've seen so far, but I do want to get rid of the queue. It just doesn't hold out the potential for a big score unless I'm very fortunate in terms of drawing tiles. Now I've drawn the final S for Enogs, which is handy. I could play Cheese rather than just Chi to reduce the access to column 15, but I think the S may be more valuable on my rack for row O. Through an A I would have Caddy and Cade. Interesting. There is an A available. Ah, well, I have Caddy in row G. Even better. Opponents played Jive for 36. So still trails by about 40 or 50 points. Ten tiles in the bag. I've got Caddy here for 27, which is a good score. Vowel heavy rack leave. Let me check the remaining vowels. 8 out of 17, so a balanced bag. But surely this is the play. Is there any bigger Q spot available? No, I don't think so, and this is definitely better than column 14. Opponent's going to score nothing off Caddy. 
So I am going with this. Well, I draw vowels, but I do draw a solitary consonant. Only one pointers. So my lead of 70 could easily shrink with a 30-point opponent play. But he only gets 18. Fantastic. Now, I'm minded to do something about column one. But look, the remaining vowels, none of them go to the left of the G. So opponent doesn't have a big Z spot. A big Z play in row one, in column one. Four tiles left. What to do? Well, remaining tiles not particularly bingoey. I'm just wondering about playing off three vowels or two vowels with a view to having bingo prospects myself, given that I do have the Enog hook. The best opponent could do would be to the play to the right in column three. Maybe an F-O play. But that's not going to score massively. So this isn't three tiles, it's only two, but that is a 20-point play. Six minutes on my clock. Is there a way of playing off a third vowel? And given that my lead is only 50 points, I don't wish to take a massive score sacrifice. So I've seen boar. Is there anything better than that or different to that? I think I will go with this. Boar for 20. Wow, I draw P and W, both non bingo -y. So I'm not seeing a 7 here. I do have the A for going to the left of the G, so I have I have WAP in column one. I didn't have any scoring tiles last turn, so now I do have P and W. And I have a 70 point lead. But I think I lose if opponent bingos and then has the Z, which he would do since a bingo would empty the bag. Well, he doesn't bingo. Woff is good. So I have WAP down here for 36 points, and surely that's going to give me the win. The, the bag is empty. I can see what opponent's got. So does he have a bingo? Where would it play? Through the U or the C? I think that would be face value, nothing beginning with the U. And any C bingo is face value. So I think WAP for 36. And do I have anything better because ONO oh is good? No, not seeing anything which begins OWA. Can I go out with ROSE? I can. Whoops is good. So I have rows in column four for a good score. Is there anywhere massive for the Z that I've overlooked? I don't think so. I'm going with this. I hope there wasn't a seven with my last rack. I don't think there was. Now, is rows best? Well, I think it is in column four. What about elsewhere on the board? Phew, I was thought that might be a massive 70 point play. It isn't just 28 points. So I can play rows for 24. And the final score, 386 for my opponent, 477 for me, a winning margin of 91 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. Felt really close, even getting towards the end. Now, it was opponent to go first, and they played calf. 
And here we go. So I played I played something. I played a neared for 70, but only two more points on offer. And everything is playing in column 10. Opponent's rack. Wow. That looks so close to a bingo. He does actually have out lane, just nowhere to play it. And plays duo. So, yeah, I'm keeping Latin, which is a good five-letter set. Now, I have McVeigh for 41, and that looks fine. And great bingo by opponent. Not easy to see. Litigant for 72, and Clatting also available, but also hard to see. So, my lead, just 15 points. This is my rack, and I play batter for 36. That looks fine. Opponent's rack. Wow, look at that. There's a three-letter front extension of Chabatta for 36. I didn't consider front extensions. Opponent plays U for 31. And now this was a tricky rack. And C7, Judd playable in row C. Where did I play it? Wow, I played it for 11 fewer points. Alu. Well, I guess that's just a hook I don't always bring to mind but it was there for 11 more points and I think it would have blocked opponents bingo because he plays Carinal in that in that lane yeah it would totally have blocked his bingo so big miss there with me with my placement of Judd and a good spot by opponent so I now trail by 35 but I do have a bingo and it's the only one D germs and I move into a 30-point lead. Opponent plays Yex for 44, and, and look at this. The game was actually closer than I remembered. Just 11 points between us. Phew, no missed bingo here. And I think Bestows may have an anagram of bow sets, but that didn't play either. And I play Cows for 46. Opponent's Rack, no bingo. Looks close, plays Pilau. And I play Abthanes. It was the only bingo I saw, but there were two others. Absanth, same spot, and Bashment, B3. Again through the A, but one square higher up, and Absanth scored the most, but happy to find A bingo. And that took me into a 90-point lead. Now, opponent's rack plays Vino. And I didn't feel that this was my game at this point because I was only 60 points in front and this rack is super troublesome. So I play Enog for 20. Yeah, and all of these rack leaves are awful and Enog scored the most, so I'm happy with that. Wow, I was just wondering if I'd blocked Utilizer, but LE not good. So, opponent plays Jive for 36, could have played Luz in column 1. Now my rack, and I am able to dump the queue with Caddy, and that massively increased my winning prospects. Opponent plays Igloo, but could have played Glitz through the G. Now I have a 50 point lead, and Boar, A4. Yeah, I like that play. It leaves tiles in the bag. It increases my lead to 80. And the rack leave is good. So, not a great rack for opponent. Plays of. Could have played Fizz. And I have WAP for 36, which looks fine. Now, opponent plays his Z with Zitty. Could have played J1 Reese's. Hard to see. And finally, Rose for 24 is best. So, what a game. Absolutely great fun against a, a strong opponent. And the game was close throughout with the, the lead switching between us. But in the end, I managed to edge into the lead and hang on for the victory. So, many thanks to my opponent for a good battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.